Hello, insiders. We've got a news flash for you coming up in one second. Uh, before we jumped into it, I did want to acknowledge the event that happened at our San Bruno office a couple of weeks ago with the active shooter. Difficult time for our team, um, but definitely wanted to thank everybody out there who's expressed support and concern for us. We really appreciate it. Um, now we'll go on to the news flash. I've got a news flash for you. Not a ton of things, but let's just go through to keep you abreast of what's going on at YouTube. So in no particular order, on March 20th, we launched the live streaming feature for webcams. So that's where you don't need any fancy software to do live streaming on YouTube. You just click a button and off you go. Uh, next, we are expanding our rollout of impressions and unique viewers and click-through rate, which I know a lot of people are excited about. So in the next week or two, you'll probably start seeing that first in the YouTube Studio Beta. So a lot of the new stuff uh, will probably hit the YouTube Studio Beta first. So check it out there. Eventually, we'll get it to the uh, regular YouTube Studio. Um, after the Studio Beta. Uh, speaking of the Studio Beta, if you want, you can just set that as your default. You still can get access to the old beta, uh, old Studio features whenever you need it. And lastly, oh, another Studio Beta update. A lot of action in the Studio Beta. We are rolling out compact navigation. So a lot of folks are saying, whoa, what's up with all this white space? Uh, can I get more information, less kind of padding all around everywhere. And so that will uh, hopefully address that. And it's an example of how we're trying to make that studio beta better every month. One other thing that I want to call out is thanks for all the feedback that you gave around uh, smart headlines versus sort of development of blue, the blue cards. Um, and basically seemed like a strong consensus from the insider community to uh, go all in on improving smart headlines uh, to make them much more actionable, more specific, more useful, more timely, even at the uh, if it meant pausing development of the blue card. So uh, we took your advice and have paused development of the blue card. So you probably won't see many blue cards going forward, but we are actively now building out the smart headlines product. And we've actually, I think, started some internal testing with uh, first the Creator Insider channel but then even some, some other channels. Um, so that's underway. Thanks for all the feedback and really appreciate you guys helping us um, make those kinds of decisions. I think that's it. Oh, I should be calling out some people who um, gave us some promotion. One minute. <laughs> okay, last thing, but most important, just want to say thanks to some folks who've been spreading the good word about Creator Insider. Uh, a lot of action on Twitter. So Brad Hennessy, thank you. Neuro, appreciate it. VidIQ, thank you very much. Morning Fame, thank you. And Damian Kent, muchos gracias. Uh, lastly, uh, just a shout out to Colin and Samir who did a video about uh, how YouTube communicates with creators, and they were kind enough to mention our channel. Um, so I'll link to that uh, in the description below. But thanks, uh, Colin and Samir. Really appreciate you guys uh, giving, giving us a shout out. So that's it for this week. Hope that helps, and we'll see you next week. Keep it real.